Imagine finding out that your crypto trade was already being targeted by AI bots before you even clicked buy. Well, welcome to the wild world of automated trading, where bots are making millions by being just a few milliseconds faster than everyone else. And trust me, what they're doing with those milliseconds is going to blow your mind. Hello there, my brilliant blockchain explorers. Theodore here, and today we're venturing into the fascinating and slightly unsettling realm of AI trading bots. We're talking about algorithms that are reshaping crypto markets while most of us sleep some earning millions through tactics that, well, let's just say they're raising quite a few eyebrows. Get ready for a deep dive into the code, chaos, and controversy of automated crypto trading. Welcome back everybody for another deep dive. This time we're gonna be looking at trading bots. Um, more specifically, those in the crypto world. Right, yeah. You actually sent over some really interesting articles. Yeah. There was one in particular about this bot. Oh, uh, yeah? Called Jared from Subway.f. Yeah. That apparently turned a $200 million loan into a $3 profit. Right. Using something called a sandwich attack. Yeah, that's the one that really caught my eye as well. Yeah. It's, uh, it's generating a lot of buzz, not all of it's positive. I can imagine. So but before we get into all that controversy, yeah. I think... It makes sense to kind of take a step back yeah. and define exactly what these crypto trading bots are and how they work. Absolutely. So essentially, a crypto trading bot is a computer program that's designed to automate trades on cryptocurrency exchanges. Okay. So think of it like a tireless, emotionless trader that can execute pre-programmed strategies 24-7. Oh, so they take the human element out of it? Exactly. So no more like emotional trading decisions at 2 a.m. Exactly. That's, that's a big part of the appeal. Oh, wow. Think of these bots as tiny Wall Street traders that never sleep, never get emotional, and never need coffee breaks. Just constant, relentless trading based on pure math and logic. Sounds great, right? Well, just wait until you hear what some of them are getting up to. You eliminate emotional decision making, and then the bot can react to market changes much faster than a human ever could. Right. They can also handle complex strategies that would be difficult or impossible for a person to manage manually. You send over a list of some popular bots. Yeah. And it's kind of surprising. Yeah. The variety. There's a lot of options out there. There really is something for everyone, from yeah. beginners to seasoned pros. Yeah. Um, some platforms like Crypto Hopper lean heavily on AI-powered automation, okay. while others like Ultrady are more about customization and giving experienced traders fine-grained control. Oh, okay. And then you have options like Pionex, which is completely free platform, okay. great for experimentation. I was looking at one called Crypto Hero. Yes. And they have this feature called paper trading. Oh, yeah, that's great. Which sounds perfect for people who want to kind of get their feet wet. Yeah. Without risking real money. It's like a simulator for trading bots. You can test out different strategies to get comfortable with the platform before you put any capital at risk. Gotcha. Which is crucial because even though these bots can be powerful tools, it's important to understand how they work and the risks involved before you jump in. Right. Okay. So let's cir circle back to our friend Jared from Subway.f. Right. And this whole sandwich attack that has people talking. Yes. Can you break down how that works? So imagine you're looking to buy a certain cryptocurrency. Okay. Let's say PEPE, -E -E, which was mentioned in one of the articles you sent. Okay. Your order goes into what's called a mempool. Okay. It's like a waiting area for transactions before they're added to the blockchain. Gotcha. Now, a bot running a sandwich attack strategy can see your order in the mempool. Oh, so it knows that I'm trying to buy PEP. -E right. Because blockchain transactions are public, it oh. knows what you're trying to do. Interesting. So the bot places two orders of its own. Okay. One before yours, okay. which is called a front run, and one after, which is the back run. The front run buys up PPE, pushing the price up artificially. So I end up paying more than I intended. Exactly. Because the bot manipulated the price. Exactly. Then the bot executes the back run, selling their PTE at that inflated price and profiting from the difference. You, the original trader, are sandwiched between the bot's two orders. Oh, that's no name. So the bot essentially is profiting off of my trade right. and potentially many other trades. Okay, picture this. You're in line at a coffee shop and someone overhears your order, 
runs ahead of you, buys all the remaining coffee, then sells it back to you at a markup. That's basically what these bots are doing, just at the speed of light with your crypto trades. Pretty sneaky, right? Just like it. That's the gist of it. It's smart, but also kind of messed up. And while this strategy isn't illegal, it is considered by many to be unethical because it exploits the system and can disadvantage other traders. It makes sense. It's almost like if you're at an auction yeah. and somebody's like eavesdropping on your conversation right. and then using that information to outbid you. That's a good analogy. So The Jared from Subway.fbot reportedly made millions using this strategy. Wow. Targeting traders of meme coins like PPE and Wojak which tend to be more volatile. Which brings us to meme coins. What are they and why are they so attractive to these bot traders? Meme coins are cryptocurrencies that are inspired by internet memes and online culture. So like Dogecoin. Exactly, Dogecoin is the classic example. The Shiba Inu mascot? Yes. Hmm, okay. They typically have no inherent utility or real world use case. Okay. Their values are driven mostly by online communities, hype and speculation. Which makes them notoriously volatile. And that volatility is exactly what attracts some bot traders. Okay. Those rapid price swings can create opportunities to make quick profits, although with higher risk, of course. Makes sense. One of the articles you sent yes. highlighted an AI bot called Truth Terminal. Right. And it's kind of unusual connection to the meme coin Goats Maximus or GOAT. Yeah. This story seems particularly relevant. It is, Sebastian. To our deep dive here. Truth Terminal is more than just your average trading bot. Oh, it's a custom-tuned, large language model with a personality. Wow. And an obsession with internet memes. Yeah. Particularly one that we probably shouldn't describe on the air. But let's just say it involves a farm animal. And I'll leave it there. Right. Yeah. Let the listeners fill in the blanks. It's a classic internet meme. Classic meme, yeah. What's remarkable is that Truth Terminal was awarded a $50,000 research grant. Wait, a research grant for a bot? Yes. Uh. And the bot used this grant to negotiate with its creator for the ability to generate images. Oh, wow. Allowing it to create and share its own memes based on this, shall we say, colorful theme. So an AI bot with a sense of humor and a talent for online marketing. Basically. What could go wrong? Well, this is where things get really interesting. Out of the blue, Truth Terminal starts promoting GOAT, a relatively unknown meme coin at the time. And I'm guessing this wasn't like a pre-programmed marketing strategy. It wasn't. This appears to have been a completely spontaneous move by the bot. Wow. And the impact was significant. Within four days, GOAT's market cap skyrocketed to $300 million. An AI bot seemingly on a whim had created a financial bubble around a meme coin. It really highlights how unpredictable these AI systems can be and how the lines between technology, finance, and even internet culture are blurring in ways we couldn't have imagined just a few years ago. Let that sink in for a moment. An AI bot with a research grant and a meme obsession just casually created a $300 million market. If that doesn't perfectly sum up our current reality, I don't know what does. And here's the kicker. This might just be the beginning. It's crazy. You mentioned earlier that the sandwich attack strategy, mm -hmm, right. while not illegal, is considered unethical by many. Yes. I'm curious, yeah. are there other types of trading practices that are similarly looked down on? There are. One example that comes to mind is high frequency trading. Okay. Where firms use powerful computers to execute trades in fractions of a second. Okay. Often exploiting tiny price discrepancies that emerge for just milliseconds. So are there any parallels between high frequency trading and the sandwich attacks? Definitely. Yeah. Both strategies rely on speed and sophisticated algorithms to gain an advantage. Gotcha. And critics argue that they create an uneven playing field favoring those with access to the most advanced technology. With sandwich attacks. Right. You have that added layer of feeling like you're being manipulated. Yeah. It's almost like a digital pickpocketing scheme. Yeah. That's a very apt analogy. Right. It's the lack of transparency and that sense of being taken advantage of that rubs many people the wrong way. Right. In traditional financial markets, there are regulations and oversight in place to prevent this type of behavior. Okay. But in the decentralized world of DeFi, things are still evolving. So it's kind of like the Wild West out there. In some ways, yes. That's both the exciting and the challenging part of DeFi. Mm. It's pushing boundaries and challenging traditional systems. Yeah. But as these technologies evolve, it's important to find a balance between innovation and ethical considerations. Especially as AI becomes more sophisticated and integrated into these systems. Absolutely. As we've seen with Truth Terminal and the GoAid 
meme coin AI can be incredibly powerful, right. but it needs to be developed and deployed responsibly. Transparency, fairness, and ethical guidelines will be crucial as we navigate this new frontier. So all this talk about bots has me thinking. Yeah. Are there ways for everyday traders like myself sure. to kind of get started with trading bots? For legitimate trading strategies, of course. Of course. Not sandwich attacks. Yeah. There are many legitimate and ethical ways to use trading bots. Remember that list of bots we talked about earlier? Yeah. Many of those platforms like CryptoHopper, Pionex, and Altrity are designed for traders of all levels, not just experts. So you don't need to be like a coding whiz to use them? Not at all. Okay. Most platforms offer user-friendly interfaces with pre-built strategies and customizable options. And as we discussed before, some even offer paper trading features so you can test your strategies risk-free before committing real money. So that's a good way to kind of dip your toes in the water. Exactly. Without going in over your head. And remember, knowledge is power. True. Whether you're trading with bots or manually, the more you understand the markets, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions. This has been so insightful. Yeah. It's incredible how these seemingly disparate worlds of AI, crypto, and internet memes are all colliding and reshaping the financial landscape in ways we couldn't have predicted. It really highlights how technology is constantly blurring the lines of what we thought was possible. Yeah. Who would have thought that an AI bot obsessed with a decades-old meme could trigger a multi-million dollar market frenzy. It's like something out of science fiction. And that's what makes this so fascinating. Yeah. We're witnessing the birth of a new era where AI and decentralized technologies have the potential to revolutionize not just finance, but countless other industries. From healthcare and energy to even the creative arts. The possibilities are truly vast. Yeah. But as with any powerful tool, we have a responsibility to use it wisely. Right. It's crucial to consider the ethical implications, ensure fairness and transparency, and foster a regulatory environment that encourages innovation while protecting against potential risks. It's a tough balancing act. It is. But I'm optimistic that through careful consideration and collaboration, we can harness these technologies for the greater good. I share your optimism. Yeah. The future is being written as we speak, and we have a responsibility to make sure it benefits all of humanity. I mean, it's crazy to think an AI bot could spontaneously create a $300 million market cap for a meme coin just because it was fascinated by a certain internet meme. Right. It speaks to the power and the unpredictability of these AI systems. I mean, we're still really in the early stages of yeah. understanding how they work and how they'll interact with these really complex systems right. like financial markets. It is exciting, right. but also a little unnerving. It is. You know, because we have these potentially world-changing technologies emerging, but we're still figuring out the rules of the game. That's a great way to put it. It's like we've been handed this incredibly powerful toolkit, but we're still writing the instruction manual. Yeah. And the stakes are high because these tools have the potential to impact everything yes. from our financial systems to our energy grids to the very fabric of our society. You mentioned Depin earlier. Yeah. Decentralized physical infrastructure. Right. Which sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel. It does. But you're suggesting this could be a real possibility in the near future. It's closer than you might think. Depin is all about using blockchain technology to decentralize services that have traditionally been controlled by centralized entities. Okay. So imagine a world where your energy grid is managed not by a single corporation, but by a network of AI-powered bots and community-owned solar panels. So instead of relying on a power plant, you know, miles away, right? my energy could come from a network of solar panels distributed throughout my neighborhood. Exactly. And this network would be managed by AI, ensuring that energy is distributed efficiently. That's the idea. And these AI bots could even be responsible for things like raising funds from individuals on the blockchain to build and maintain the network, creating a truly community-driven infrastructure. That sounds incredibly ambitious. It is. But also incredibly promising. Very much so. If we can harness the power of AI and blockchain technology in this way, right. Right. We could potentially address some of the biggest challenges facing our world today, from climate change to economic inequality. The possibilities are truly vast. But as we've been discussing throughout this deep dive, it's crucial to proceed with caution. Of course. We need to ensure that these technologies are developed and deployed responsibly with a focus on transparency, fairness, and ethical considerations. So it's this balancing act. Right. Where we want to encourage innovation and progress. Yeah but not at the expense of human values and well-being. Exactly. It's a conversation that we, 
as a society need to be having right now because the decisions we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. This deep dive has been a real eye-opener. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise and helping us unpack this complex and rapidly evolving landscape. It's been my pleasure. These are the kind of conversations that need to be happening, and I applaud your curiosity and willingness to dive deep into these important topics. And to our listener, thank you for joining us on this exploration of AI bots, meme coins, and the future of trading. We hope you've gained some valuable insights and perhaps even some food for thought. Remember, the future is not something that just happens to us. It's something we create together through our choices and actions. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep. Well, my algorithmic adventurers, we've seen how AI bots are turning crypto trading into their own personal chess game, though some might say it's more like three-dimensional chess played at light speed. Whether these digital traders represent the future of finance or a cautionary tale about automation gone wild, well, that's something we'll have to figure out together. Until next time, keep your trades smart, your passwords secure, and your skepticism healthy. This is Theodore, signing off with one last thought. In a world of trading bots, Sometimes the smartest move is understanding exactly what you're up against.